Hey guys, thanks for joining. In today's video, I wanna take you on my training schedule during the winter. A training schedule which didn't go exactly as planned because I was planning to spend a lot more time in the mountains doing backcountry skiing. But uh, unfortunately this year, the winter was quite mild and therefore I spent a lot more time running on the roads and spending time in the mountains. So that meant I couldn't go backcountry skiing as much as I would have hoped for. So I didn't get all those meters of elevation gain that I was hoping for, but I got a lot of miles on the road. So I ran a lot and I wanted I wanted to share with you a little bit my experience uh, of the schedule, how it looks like. It's definitely not the best practice or the gold standard in terms of, uh, of preparation, but it's kind of what worked for me uh, in terms of schedule because I have to balance it with work and uh, family. So uh, hopefully it'll give you a bit of an idea of uh, the type of preparation I'm putting in, uh, in view of this big, hairy, audacious goal that is uh, UTMB, uh, which is something I've been uh, dreaming of for the past couple of years. And I've been working hard uh, towards uh, accumulating the races and the miles and the elevation gain. Hopefully this will give you a sense of uh, what the preparation uh, looks like on uh, on my end. So what I did is I basically uh, filmed myself uh, every day uh, as from the Sunday uh, running to the next Sunday with a typical schedule in mind. But as you'll see, when we have a family, things don't exactly go as planned. So we have to be adaptive and uh, be able to juggle with the uh, constraints we have uh, at a point in time and do the best we can, basically. And for people like us who have a full-time job and a family, squeezing in ultra running is definitely a challenge. So it's been that way for me as well. And I think we can all relate to the limited time we have to be able to uh, train for these uh, ultra races. And to be honest, I think I have a lot more admin admiration for people like you and I who have a lot less time on our hands to prepare for these races as opposed to the elites who have a lot more time to dedicate to this sport and actually paid to do it and are able to prepare so much more for it compared to us who have much more limited time to get on our feet, get those miles done, was to getting our real work done, looking after our family. So I wanted to show you what I do uh, to be able to get those miles in, to get that time on legs. Join me on this uh, great, uh, great week of uh, workouts and uh, let me know what you think in the comments, uh, what you do uh, during the winter or what your typical uh, training schedule is. I'd be very curious to hear uh, how it uh, works out for you, how you find the time to train for these incredible races, for these incredible adventures that really push us uh, to the limits and to be able to live these incredible experiences, obviously we've got to prepare as much as possible. It's pretty tough, tough on us, tough on the family, but in the end, hopefully it's uh, it's worth it. We all grow in the, in the process and I'm uh, thrilled to be able to take you on uh, yet another video of my personal growth in these, uh, these incredible adventures. Okay, so we're uh, end of uh, February. We're around uh, six, months, uh, six months out from, the, uh, from UTMB. Uh, I've already started training uh, quite intensively. Um, over the winter winter months. So today is Sunday, and today we're going to be doing a tempo uh, tempo run. I've been training a lot using the um, different zones of my Garmin watch. Uh, so this has been driving my uh, my training pattern. I try to combine aerobic, anaerobic, and base training. So uh, so today is going to be more the uh, aerobic uh, in the aerobic zones. So uh, it's Sunday morning, it's uh, seven o'clock. Uh, got, uh, got up early to try and get my training uh, done uh, before uh, the kids and uh, my wife wake up. So let's head out and get this done. Okay, so we're on our tempo run. It's pretty, uh, pretty cold, a lot of wind. Uh, so the idea is to do 10 minutes warm up, and then try and run at a, for uh, 420 rhythm, 415 rhythm, try and get into that zone uh, four. In the warm up, I'm at around uh, 118 heartbeats per, per minute, I'm running at around 5 minutes, 5 minutes 15. It's cold, so we're close to the end of the 10 minute warm up. So now we'll be ramping up the pace. 
can hardly speak, it's so cold. Currently, uh, 150 beats per minute. Pretty intense. This is around 35. Right. Around 146 beats per minute. And the way to back down. Ah, not easy. So 155 beats per minute. Before the family is awake, let's go home. So I just finished a tempo workout, went pretty well, did a couple of uh, personal bests, which was good, surprising since I was filming at the same time. Uh, it's around uh, eight, uh, 10 past eight. So I managed to make it before uh, the kids uh, wake up, which is good. Uh, so yeah, with a family, it's always better to get these workouts done uh, before they wake up. So you have that off uh, your uh, checklist for the day. Uh, did around uh, 11 kilometers at a pace of uh, four minutes uh, 30 per, uh, per kilometer. Yeah, it took me around 50 minutes to complete. Trying to keep my uh, heart rate uh, in zone four. So I think I was hovering between 144 to 155 around that uh, that level. So uh, with that done for for the day, now I'm going to have a shower and uh, profit with the family, which will be uh, which will be cool. Uh, tomorrow Monday, uh, I'll be doing more of a strength training in the morning, uh, since I want to spend the lunch time with my wife. Uh, and then Tuesday we'll be doing the long runs. Uh, Wednesday probably a base, Thursday we'll be doing uh, anaerobic I think and then another tempo on Friday. So there we go. Alright so it's Monday morning, early wake up call to uh, do some uh, leg strengthening uh, exercises but the week is not starting on the, in the best way. Uh, my wife is uh, I think uh, ill so it's probably gonna uh, change my uh, my weekly uh, my weekly routine. Gonna adapt it so that I can uh, help at home as well. So we'll see how that uh, how that pans out.
Okay, so it's midday, Monday, and now it's time for a longer run. Um, taking the opportunity to do a 20k today. So um, here we go. We started the 20k. Less cold than yesterday, but uh, I can feel the muscles from yesterday's uh, tempo run. So today we're going to be aiming at uh, doing a 5 minutes 15 per kilometer and uh, try and keep the heart rate uh, pretty low for the 20 kilometers. So I don't usually take my uh, my pack but because I'm taking the camera today it's probably a little bit easier to carry it so I have a pack and I have a something to eat around the 45 an hour mark so just to get a bit more calories in Nearing uh, 10 kilometers in, not feeling at my best today. I think it's the cumulative uh, amount of training I've been doing lately. Uh, I can feel it. I think I dressed a little bit too much. It's quite uh, warmer than I thought. And I have a heartbeat which is running higher than normal. So. That's draining me as well, which is not great. So there we go. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. So we'll do near 20k. And tomorrow we'll be near 30 hopefully. So it's a good uh, good session. against the wind ah. feels like I'm not moving ah. so I'm having a hard time getting my heartbeat down it's pretty, pretty weird today uh, I don't have the, tra the chest strap so I'm uh, measuring with the watch but uh, yeah I didn't sleep very well last night because my wife is, uh, is, uh, is a little ill uh, kids woke us up at night as well, so had a very uh, rough sleep. Might be reflected in my form, but yeah, 144 beats per minute. That's uh, five minutes, uh, five seconds per kilometer. It's much higher than I usually am. I should be closer to the 120. So weird. a little better now around kilometer 15 heartbeat is a little lower but not that much so we're getting there Uh, heartbeat was much uh, higher than, uh, than preview. I don't know what was 
going on today. Pretty strange, I'm usually around 120. Today uh, I was uh, closer to the 140, so I guess I'm not on uh, top form, but uh, yeah, it was a weird, uh, weird uh, slow run. So there we go, uh, that's the run for today. It's uh, Monday night and unfortunately the plan is not quite working out as I would have hoped. So tomorrow's training is not gonna be the one that I had planned for. I was planning to run to work, which is nine kilometers, run 10 kilometers at lunchtime and then nine kilometers back. Uh, my wife unfortunately is ill, um, so it's been pretty intense at home with the kids and uh, looking after her. I'll be uh, taking the kids to school tomorrow, so we have to adapt. Hopefully my wife will be feeling better very soon. Uh, we'll do everything it takes to make her uh, get better. So I'm taking the kids to school, so I have to adapt my training plan since I won't be running to work and I'll be running therefore at lunchtime. So I'll probably be doing an anaerobic session so with some sprints and I'll change the day uh, of when I'll be running to work probably for Thursday so that's something uh, obviously we gotta contend with as uh, being able to quickly adapt our training plans depending on our family situations so this is a an example of an unforeseen uh, situation so there we go just have to adapt and uh, do the best with uh, the constraints that we're uh, living in and do the best with the time we have. Right, so it's Tuesday, unfortunately my wife has flu, so I had to take the kids to school and change my plans. So we're now heading to the, uh, to the track and we'll be going around. They're doing some sprints. Let's see how that goes doing some uh, stretching because it's going to be pretty intense. All right, so I'm uh, doing these uh, sort of uh, probably a little, little less than 100 meter sprints, I'm trying to get my heart rate up, recuperate. For, uh, for a few uh, few meters and then do that over and over again uh, so that I get a total of uh, 10 kilometers in. So we're getting up to the zone four. The idea is to get up uh, pretty high in zone four. When I get these sprints done, not easy. All right, so we're getting there, hitting 146, 147. This is tough, probably halfway. Legs are aching, so after the 20K yesterday, pretty tough. So we're done, now I'll be heading back for two, two and a half kilometer wind down. That's pretty intense. Let's head back and get a shower. So we're done with the uh, anaerobic training for today. Uh, went pretty well, but I uh, must admit I'm feeling pretty, uh, pretty impacted by the uh, the work on the Sunday and yesterday. So uh, yeah, I can definitely feel my legs. Tomorrow will be more uh, bicycle training, uh, just to give the body a bit of a rest. But it's pretty strange that uh, my heart rate is much higher than uh, usual. Could be that uh, I'm ill without knowing it because my wife has uh, the flu. So it could be that I have it as well, but uh, I don't seem to be feeling it much at this point. So, uh, so yeah, heartbeat pretty, pretty higher than normal, uh, but it hasn't stopped me from training. So training continues. Okay, so it's uh, Wednesday evening now, and uh, yeah, day, the day didn't turn out as I had planned, so it's been pretty intense on the work front. 
Wife is still uh, sick uh, as well with flu, so I uh, was extremely uh, busy with the, with the kids uh, as well. So uh, yeah, it's been pretty tiring, um, but i um, going to profit now to uh, take 45 minutes on the bicycle, on the indoor bike. A little bit of recuperation in, uh, in a way as well for my, for my legs. Uh, it's going to be less uh, physically intense for them, so uh, uh, working some different muscles as well, doing that cross uh, Cross training, uh, which uh, which I've learned as well, is important to try and get uh, other parts uh, of the legs, uh, different muscles, basically being uh, being worked. So, I'm going to be doing that uh, now, and uh, and then see how it uh, how it goes. Well, when things don't want to work out, they just don't want to work out. So there we go. There's my bicycle uh, indoor bicycle gone uh, dead. So, I'm going to find another solution now to to get some. Uh, some activity and might go and run for 5k or something. Alternative is to go for a shorter jog. So doing a five kilometer jog instead. Nice and easy. Low 115 heartbeats per minute. Reaching the end of the 5k. Good news is that the heart rate is normalized compared to the other days. So that's good. Reassuring, given that I have a race on the preparation race on Saturday. So back to normal, hopefully. 5k uh, done. I uh, feel my right leg a little bit, uh, little bit tender. Uh, not easy. Hope I'll be ready for Saturday preparation race. So yeah, Wednesday didn't go exactly according to plan, but at least the uh, heart rate is back to normal. So it's uh, Thursday. Unfortunately, my wife is still ill, so couldn't come in to work running. So I'm gonna try and do a 20, uh, 20K uh, run today. As always, trying to adapt to the, uh, the running schedule uh, based on the constraints I have. So trying to make the best of the time available. So we're off at the 20k. Uh, good news is that uh, heartbeat is like back to normal. So in the lower 220, which is good. But I'm not feeling at my best this week. I don't know if I got the flu as well. Who knows? But the training continues. So one of the issues with uh, <laughs> Some of the runs as you redo the same ones over and over again. Certain monotony sets in. So it's a good exercise for the mind as well. Get used to monotony because that's a challenge in and of itself. So, so we're on 5k in. Heart rate is definitely lower than uh, Monday's run, the 20k, where at this stage I was closer to 140, so I wouldn't discount the probability that I caught something, because I'm definitely not feeling at my best this week. Could be flu. Interesting. There's uh, at least 20 heartbeats per minute less than Monday for a similar or faster pace. Okay, so we've done the 20K. Uh, heart rate was uh, at a much uh, lower level, much more acceptable level than, uh, than previously on Monday, so that's a good sign. Uh, so yeah, uh, now we're gonna have a rest uh, tomorrow, uh, Friday. Because Saturday we have normally a race planned uh, in Les Diablerets in the Alps, so uh, in the snow, 
20k I think approximately and so that'll be a good uh, good training as well we've got to learn to adapt our uh, training schedules based on our constraints and I hope my wife will get better quickly not easy for her <laughs> not easy for anyone but there we go that's uh, the life of uh, preparing ultra running when you have a family and a full-time job it's uh, Friday morning uh, getting closer to the weekend now so rest day today and given that I wasn't able to do exactly what I wanted to do this week I signed up for a preparation race on Saturday in the mountains so that will be pretty cool uh, in the snow the same one as I did last year in the Diableret in the Swiss Alps so that will uh, give me an extra uh, volume session as well I think it's about 20 kilometers as I mentioned uh, previously uh, I think about 1,000 meters elevation gain so that will be pretty uh, pretty fun today rest day uh, so that I feel on top form tomorrow for the race okay so it's uh, Saturday morning uh, usually I have a rest day on uh, Saturday but I actually uh, switched it with uh, with uh, with Friday uh, because today we're going for a, for a race preparation race uh, hadn't planned doing it but uh, in the end I thought it was probably a good idea uh, gets the kilometers in uh, since I didn't get to do my um, my weekly running into work uh, and back uh, back home uh, since it was a pretty intense week uh, looking after the kids. Luckily, my wife is better now, so that's the most important. So I'm glad uh, she re she's recuperated. So now I'm able to, to go for this uh, for this race, which is pretty cool. Uh, a race which is in uh, Les Diableret in the Swiss Alps. It's a beautiful place uh, that I went to last year, uh, and it'll uh, add some uh, some volume to to this week. So looking forward to that. Okay, so here we are in Les Diableret for the uh, Trail Blanc, same race as I did last year, 20k and about 1,000 meters uh, D+. Beautiful, beautiful day, but not that much snow compared to last year, so uh, yeah, we'll see how it, uh, how it goes. Be running with, uh, with a friend as well who uh, signed up for the, uh, for the 20k, and uh, yeah, uh, just great to be in the, in the Swiss Alps and uh, have some fun and basically uh, enjoy it and not injure myself. <laughs> Uh, so Alex, ready for the race? Yeah, yeah, we're doing the CCC, uh, so we're yeah. ramping up the training as well, so we'll be uh, together in Chamonix uh, in August.
Euh, c'est profond là. Bonjour. Merci bien, bonne journée a bit faster than I uh, anticipated. Okay, so there we go, 20k, 1000 meters uh, D plus. Uh, actually, it was a good race. I was actually faster than I thought, so, so the training is definitely paying off. I was actually finished uh, just behind the uh, first and second uh, women uh, uh, senior uh, category, so uh, they were really fast. But I was quite uh, quite happy with uh, with that performance uh, to be up there. So I finished like 45, 45th out of uh, 200 uh, plus uh, runners. So. That was uh, that was a good uh, good surprise to be uh, somewhere up there, should I say? I mean, uh, the ambition is not to to be uh, on the podium or to do an uh, incredible time, but it's good to see progress, and obviously the training is definitely paying off. All these uh, hours on the feet and the kilometers uh, done over the the last few months have definitely uh, uh, paid off. So uh, it's good to see progress and uh, and to finish in a good. Uh, um, good state not feeling too uh too drained which is uh which is nice as well what was weird though is that uh, garmin uh, brought my uh vo2 max down oh first time i set it in uh, trail mode so i dropped down from 60 to uh, 57 so that was a bit of a weird one but uh beautiful place incredible les diableurais really recommend coming here so there we go that's the training for saturday tomorrow we'll probably go for a wind down run early in the morning uh, to wrap up the week so it's Sunday morning. Uh, we're completing a full week of, uh, of training. It's uh, 10 to seven, uh, kids are still sleeping. Gonna profit to do a bit of a base, uh, base run, about 10 kilometers. Just taking it easy really today. Uh, I've had to reorganize my schedule again because um, my daughter's gonna be uh, playing soccer at 10 o'clock. So I gotta be back uh, in time to take her to soccer. So that'll be cool. Getting up early getting that run done, ticking the box, and that'll wrap up a uh, full week of training. So today is a bit earlier than usual, so I've got the headlamp. It's pretty, pretty fresh. But at least there's no wind.
so here we got the European Center for Nu Nuclear Research. Sunrise is pretty epic today. running with my light for security reasons with the cars early in the morning. So there we are, we finished the uh, 10k base run. So that wraps it up for a week of, uh, of training. I hope it gave you a good idea of uh, what my training is. It's definitely not the uh, best practice or uh, uh, the standard or benchmark, but it's uh, what works for me and uh, what I can fit uh, within the uh, uh, family and uh, work time. So hopefully it'll inspire you as well to, uh, to go out there and, uh, and train and uh, set great objectives for hopefully grand adventures.